गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास वी विल बिगिन विद द मेडिवल आर्किटेक्चर क्वेश्चन आंसर्स एंड एक्सरसाइजेस फर्स्ट वन चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन द फर्स्ट ग्रेट पीरियड ऑफ बिल्डिंग एक्टिविटी अकर्ड अंडर द एम्पर आंसर इज शाहजहान वन डी द अलाई दरवाजा वॉज बिल्ट बाय अलाउद्दीन खिलजी टू ए नंबर थ्री शाहजहान शिफ्टेड इज कैपिटल टू आगरा थ्री ए नंबर फोर द गोल गुम्बज इज इन बीजापुर फोर सी नंबर फाइव द हाई एंड मजेस्टिक गेट वेज ऑफ टेम्पल्स इन द साउथ आर कॉल्ड गोपुरम्स फाइव फाइव बी नंबर सिक्स मोस्ट ऑफ द अर्ली मुगल बिल्डिंग्स यूज मिनरेट्स सिक्स बी नंबर सेवन द ताज महल इज डिस्टिंग्विश्ड एज द फाइनेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डैश आर्किटेक्चर मुगल सेवन बी नंबर एट द रेड फोर्ट रिप्रजेंट्स द समिट ऑफ मुगल क्रिएटिविटी विच प्रिवेल्ड ड्यूरिंग द रेन ऑफ एम्पर शाहजहान एट डी कमिंग टू द सेकेंड पार्ट फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स द कुतुब मीनार वॉज कम्प्लीटेड बाय इलतुतमिश I L T U T M I S H. Number two, Jahangir built Shalimar and Nishat Gardens in Kashmir. Shalimar and Nishat Gardens in Kashmir. You can also write Moti Masjid and Jama Masjid. Moti Masjid was in Agra. and jama masjid in delhi so both the answers would be correct then number 3 the buland darwaza is situated in fatehpur sikri near agra number 4 the brihadeshwara temple is dedicated to lord shiva the two architecture features introduced by turks were the dash and the dash I'm sorry I skipped out I'll let you know. Number 6 Dash near Agra was built by Akbar as his new capital. The answer is Fatehpur Sikri. Third exercise write true or false. Meenakshi temple is in Madurai true. Number 2 The Indo-Islamic style of architecture did not influence the regional kingdoms. Write there false and the answer is correct it. underline not and cross it so the correct will be the indo islamic style of architecture did influence the regional kingdoms number 3 the temples of khajuraho were built by rulers of chandela dynasty true Sha- number 4 shah jahan constructed the taj mahal at agra true number 5 the dravidian style of architecture was used in the chola temples true match the column exercise 4 lingaraja temple will match with odisha adhai din ka jhopda will match with ajmer moti masjid agra humayun's tomb delhi dilwara temples mount abu shor temple mahabalipuram Adina Masjid, Bengal, Mehrgarh Fort, Jodhpur, Brihadeshwara Temple, Tanjore, Virupaksha Temple, Hampi. Exercise five. Answer the following questions in short. What does the Mughal period mark? Answer. Page forty-four. Answer: The period of the Mughals saw architecture at its peak in terms of both number and style. The Mughals built many forts, palaces, gates, public buildings, mosques, bawlies, etc. They also laid out many gardens with running water. Question number five two. 
which was the second major undertaking of Shah Jahan's reign. Answer, page 46. The Moti Masjid in Agra was completed in 1653. It is built entirely of white marble and has three domes. The Jama Masjid in Delhi was completed in 1656. It is the largest mosque in India. The well-balanced domes, decorated arches, tall minarets, huge balconies and small pavilions in these two mosques make them very striking and beautiful. Exercise 6. Answer the following questions in detail. Give description of a typical South Indian temple. Page 42. The different parts of a South Indian temple are Gopuram, Garbhagriha, Mandapa and Shikhara. A Gopuram is the gateway of the temple. Garbhagriha is the main shrine where images of gods and goddesses were kept. The Mandapa was an audience hall where people gathered for prayers. On top of the main shrine was a tall structure or tower called Shikhara. Only till here. That was question number 6-1. Now coming to 6-2. Describe the Mughal architecture in your own words. Answer. You will write it in points so that learning is easy. Number 1. Mughal architecture is a remarkable, symmetrical and decorative blending of Persian Turkish and Indian architecture. Spelling of remarkable R E M A R K A B L E symmetrical S Y M M E T R I C A L decorative D E C O R A T I V E blending B L E N D I N G. Number two, arches, domes, especially full domes, became common. Number 3. The Charbagh, C-H-A-H-A-R, Charbagh pattern was introduced. Number 4. Tomb and mosques mostly had minarets, M-I-N-A-R-E-T-E-S. Number 5. Red, red sandstone used at the time of Akbar and Jahangir was replaced by white marble at the time of Shah Jahan. Number six, structures were decorated with floral motifs, geometrical designs, swastik and lotus symbols, and Quranic verses were engraved. Q U R A N I C, Quranic verses were engraved. Last point. Walls were decorated with Pitra Dura work. P I E T R A D U R A. Pitra Dura work. Question number 6 3. Give a brief description. Descriptions architecture during Shah Jahan's reign. Page 46. Under Shah Jahan. After that, leave a line. The emphasis was now on uniformity and symmetry. Red sandstone, red sandstone was replaced by white marble. The walls began to be decorated with precious and semi-precious stones. This method of decoration is called Pitradura. Domes and minarets also began to form an important part of the buildings. Leave two, three lines. The interiors were also decorated with floral motifs and calligraphic verses from the Holy Quran. Question number six, four. Explain the building 
of the Taj Mahal. Page 46. Answer. The Taj is placed in the middle of a garden. It is built of white marble which was obtained from Makrana in Rajasthan. The Taj is decorated with colorful precious and semi-precious stones imported from other countries. Shah Jahan used the Pitradura ornamentation on white marble on a large scale in his favorite Taj. The Taj has a huge pearl-shaped dome and four slender minarets which link the platform to the main building. The interior was has the marble cenotaphs of Mumtaz Mahal and Shah Jahan. The cenotaphs are covered with Pitra Dura ornamentation. After that, leave two, three lines. Now, after now, you'll write, it has been replaced by a marble one. Earlier, the gold ra- there were gold railings. Thank you.